apply thevenin's theorem to find the current flowing through 10 ohm resistor in the circuit shown in figure we have to find current flowing through this 10 ohm resistor in this circuit using thevenin's theorem solution let let's say this is terminal a and this is terminal b now here we can see this is our rl rl is equal to 10 ohm then we have to find rth and vth rth is the thevenin resistance and vth is the thevenin's voltage now first we will find rth so to find rth here this will be our rth this will be our rth now to find rth we have to turn off this source so this voltage source will be replaced by its internal resistance so it will be short circuited now from this rth will be we can say rab is equal to rth is equal to here we can see this 4 ohm is in parallel with 7 ohm so 4 ohm parallel with 7 ohm then it is in series with this 5 ohm so plus 5 so this will be 4 into 7 divided by 4 plus 7 plus 5 so 4 into 7 divided by 4 plus 7 plus 5 7.545 7.545 ohm 7.545 ohm is the value of RTH then next we have to find VTH so to find VTH to find VTH here this will be our vth we have to remove this rl then here this will be our vth now here we can see this is open circuited so this, this let's say this is va va or this is directly vth and this will be vth also because it is open circuit so this voltage will be equal to this voltage now we have to find this vth so we can easily find let's say the current flowing through this loop is current i now we can find current i by using ohm's law i is equal to v by r v is 24 24 divided by R. R is 4 plus 7. 4 plus 7. So it is 24 divided by 4 plus 7. 2.18. 2.18 ampere is the value of current I. Now we have to find VTH. So VTH will be equal to current I. So current I into this 7 ohm. So I is 2.18 into 7. So this value 2.18 into 7. So it is 15.26. 15.26 volt. So therefore VTH is equal to. VTH is equal to 
15.26 volt. This is the value of VTH. Now we have the value of VTH, RTH and RL. Now we can draw Thevenin equivalent circuit. So this will be positive, this will be negative. This will be RTH. And this will be RL. This is RTH, this is RL and this is VTH. Now VTH is equal to 15.26 volt and RTH is equal to 7.545, 7.545 ohm, 545 ohm, then RL, RL is equal to RL is 10 ohm. So this will be 10 ohm and this will be IL. Now we can find IL by using formula IL is equal to VTH divided by RTH plus RL. Now VTH is 15.26 divided by RTH. RTH is 7.545 plus 10. So therefore IL is equal to 15.26 divided by 7.545 plus 10. So it is 0 0.869. 0 0.869 ampere is the value of IL. Zero point eight six nine ampere is the value of I L that is current flowing through this ten ohm resistor. What we have to find? We have to find apply Thevenin's theorem to find the current flowing through ten ohm resistor in the circuit shown in figure. So we have to find this ten ohm resistance current. So the current flowing through the ten ohm resistor is zero point eight six nine ampere.